I'm going to show you the picture of what you want. I'm going to show you what I'm going to get. Please tell me that. I'm not going to hear for a note. Why is up here changing faster than down here? Like, I'm going to stop with a girlfriend. But then he's like, Clown. We need to get ready. Well, that's enough TikTok. Okay, now, 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 that's enough TikTok. What's up, Coke heads and Coke toes? Hello guys, my name is Jenny Lu and this is my apology video. I just wanna hold on. I just wanna say I'm really sorry for that horrible intro. I totally understand if you wanna unsubscribe. I didn't I didn't know it would be that bad. <laughs> All right, cut the cameras. Da -da. It's your girl Janae back with another video. I know I haven't been on here in a while and I apologize. Y'all gonna hear more about that later on. But right now, we need to get ready. I'm gonna wash your face and brush your teeth. I don't mean, know, but like, probably, me just not smell it, but me don't think so. I'm always think I'm on time, like, oh, some people make it seem like they people not really bad, like, my hair is really bad. It doesn't smell like to me. Smell like nothing. But anyways, today what my plan for do is my plan for go Port Antonio on the nails. I don't know why, but like my daughter already brush my teeth twice. I mean, I'm just do it. All right, so now me wash my face. Hey Siri, uh -huh. play Rebel by Shensia. Now playing Rebel featuring Shensia by Zone. <laughs> Hey Siri, turn up the volume all the way, please. So, um, I use this coffee bar soap thing, I think, I don't remember when. And this face, something, I mash up a long, long time, I'm gonna need to get a new one, but I find it so hard to spend more than ten dollars on one of these things. I'm gonna wash my face again, just because my skin has been. <laughs> And I have like this burn and I don't know if see it, but one burn the hair, so I know this is pounding zone and disrespect me. So damn, can y'all make me talk? Anyways, um I get this chemical burn because I had an earring and I left this something on my face too long and it burned the skin. <laughs> so I'm gonna be a no. Skin care time. I'm gonna use this. And the reason why I'm here is Andres is because all of my cotton fans them finish and I ain't stopping my flow just because of that. So I'm gonna use Andres to wipe it on my face. Guys, guys don't act like say, this is a shocker too. No? Look how much time I do some ghetto ass shit. Just because I can't find what I need or have what I need. I'm too lazy dog. And this shop, so. <laughs> and you guys are dog? Look at him. Every single day, he can come right this up. I'm a bare knives. I'm a head. <sighs> Yo, I'm hungry, you know? I'm hungry, free. Like, my belly really I talk to me right now. I'm here alone. Yo, with this light, I can't want to eat. Anyways, me I say, if I did me alone, I'm a little bit of things, say, if I'm not feeding myself, my belly is going to eat my organs. Did y'all think that too, or are y'all normal? <laughs> Cause I didn't think that's different. So now, may I put Jen in my ear? You know, one thing we hear do this widow's peak shit. Having me out here looking like Vegeta. I think our hair looks fine, right? Let's see. You kinda look cute. Sorry. <laughs>
TikTok was last week Friday and today is Thursday. So it's basically almost a week since the last tug. <laughs> guys, guys, come on. I only don't know. <laughs> like, if there was an award for the most inconsistent and um, horrible YouTuber, I'd probably get it because today, not me out here taking three months worth of break. Guys, we just want something. Please go and follow my new Instagram because we didn't say, yo, me not go followed back on social media for a very long time, but that long time, I don't get cut short because I'm changing my mind. And the thing when we try to achieve, end up achieve very quickly. Okay, so I sold my Instagram with the thought in mind that I wouldn't be going on social media until like six months later which to me wouldn't make any sense i keep my instagram card by the time i followed back that instagram could be dead i made a lose a bag of followers i'm gonna have to make one new one anyway so i end up sell my instagram and i have to make one new one immediately because i want to follow back on social media <laughs> yeah so please follow my new instagram at janae lu and here yeah, follow my spam not janae I mean, I'm not about to explain them more. Let's just move past that. What did I say before this? I don't know. Oh, nails. So, these are my nails. And I am so happy that they turned out good because the last time, the last time. So, What me do you Oh, then yeah. The last time we got Port Antonio and Dominios, the whole thing gonna ever see about what I got versus what I wanted. That happened to me and Janelle. Me say we got Port Antonio late, you know, late. I wait for we to get with nails done. My end up reaching them so they appear in cosway. I think most likely. I think ever cosway. We reach them late. Just end up with ugly ass nails. May I show you the picture of what we want? I may show you what we get. As you can see, the color them off by a mile. The length, them just, they just nail look good. And you see this picture? The picture kind of make it look alright-ish. But in person, brother, the nail is and gully in a shape. This is what we actually want this time. And so I'm gonna get. I think she should do a really good job of recreating it. I'm actually glad so I look good. So yeah. Just, every time looking at the viewfinder, this this is just a piss me off. Out here looking like little Uzi Bird. Bitch, it's like Uzi Bird. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we done. Jenny, stop, stop, stop. You won't do it, no? Stop it. Stop. It don't funny no more. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. So today, what we'll be doing is dyeing my hair in this color. This color named Golden Bronze. And I only had to dye half of my hair. <laughs> Excuse me. And at the back part, I'm going to dye today. And then later on, I'm going to dye the rest in a honey blonde and the reason why me i do it like this is because me i dye my full head and me feel like if me just do it not everything in a honey blonde it just like gonna look dead you know so me i say oh let me let me uh, uh let me add a little bit of spice to that adding this darker color in the back where i give it like a dimension and look good you know yeah, we need to start watch Shelby, you know, because I should have me. <laughs> Anyways, so I don't plan to do, and the reason why I do them two different times is because this basically I go for my test run today, and anything we do wrong, we know that we can do better when we do the honey bun. Okay, guys, ready? I wanna pee. And yes, I use my foot. 
Don't judge me. I don't like touching stuff like that. It's weird to me. Yeah. It's not weird. It's gross. In my opinion. I wonder if I can play like music but like really, really low so I won't get copyrighted but... Anyways, let me put my phone all the way over here so y'all can barely hear. My name is Pat here. In half. I don't usually wear my glasses, but I've been trying to because I know I should. And my eye just all get increasingly worse. I realized that I didn't really give this video a proper introduction and tell you know what my plan is to do. So let me do that right now. Okay, so I wrote a little list. Can y'all see that? It says 24 hour transformation, but 24 hours kind of time. First, it says dye my hair blonde. And it says get acrylic nails. I did that, so. Um, I plan to get second piercing on my ears. Come and feel like my right hair, my right ears don't have anything. I mean, like that. I also plan to do one tennis skirt outfit thing. I miss them and even gain some weight. I just need a few pounds more. I'm good. Oh, I also plan to do it like my skincare, them thing that you know the usual we usually do here. I also wanted to do a nose piercing, but like Corona and don't want my to kill me. And by the title, I know I'm gonna name it. i will probably name it spending a thousand dollars after a heartbreak or to look less ugly or something like that. And just to let y'all know, I'm not actually heartbroken. If anybody break my heart, I'm myself. That's what I plan to do. Cause I want to look cute by the end of this video, like really cute. Bro, why can't I turn me here? This is so hard. I don't know if the, the angle changed cause I'm just run down serious. I'm come back cause I'm gonna part me here for me. I know, I'm wondering if this is too little. Probably me for part it more. Ah! Let's come back again. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> After a very painful parting cause I'm gonna comb my ear, comb out my hair in a very long time. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so this is the cream developer. Hello. This is a conditioner. And this is the color. And this is the color. There we go. Yo, I really, really hope my hair don't drop off. I'm praying. God, please. <sighs> yes, I did just literally pray. <laughs> because, Jaja, if me here drop off or get damaged, I literally cry. I literally cry. Okay, so comment section here. In, I don't know, fours, I guess. No trees. Can't wait for so much work that. <laughs> Literally, me and Bill's so much most of guests. So, this section first. Alright, so only can say my hair is like mostly black. Like all of these right here, so black. So, I guess I'm gonna start right here, so I'm gonna go down. So, now we have put this. <laughs> this shit stink! Mm -mm. If you don't watch my other video, when I'm imposed with diamond here and I discover it just right now, I know I say. That stink too, but this is a different kind of stink, bro. All right, ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Ain't gonna turn it back. Nah. Ooh, is this because my hair is not combed out? Is this because I haven't 
pull my hair out in a long while. Please, I'm dead. And now my hair falling out. Oh. Ah! No, don't want to do this. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm here to just laugh when, when, you know. I'm here to just laugh. I feel very much panicky right now. I'm not like, let me just say. Bro, please, please don't jump out. Please. Yeah, baby. Don't do this to me. Because I'm here to wrap together. <laughs> Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't be fake. Don't. If you're I'll never forgive you. I'm your mom here. I'm not treat you good. And you can't say I'm not treat you good from what you know. You cannot tell me. Because I have. So if you say that, you're a liar. Okay. We should be scared when it comes out in clumps. Not just like a strand. It's not just like a strand. You're overreacting, sweetie. <laughs> Okay, so my camera battery died. I really need to get myself a second one for times like this. But let's do my roots. And hopefully it don't end up a different color. So far, it doesn't look like my hair is falling out, which is amazing. And my curl pattern looks like it didn't get destroyed. So that's a good sign that my hair is still healthy, right? <laughs> Okay guys, so this is a YOTD of the day and if you don't know what that means, it means yard codes of the day. Purr. This is how my hair is looking. So basically right now the roots kind of still dark. So what we learned from this is that we need more than 10 minutes for the roots um, develop. But you can tell there's a huge difference. See y'all when I do the next dye. Probably, minimum. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today I will be going to present Tony and getting my ears As y'all saw, I got my nose pierced. Even though I was like, oh, you know, I'm not even gonna get my nose pierced because I'm free. But I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Mask off. Literally, that's what happened. Cause you know how much time I got a person and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pierce my nose. 
and then my chicken out and don't do it because my friend parents skin me alive. <laughs> Literally, it's when it's when we were just going to car, right? And I kept my mask on the whole entire time. And I will reach home. Let me show them. I typed a whole freaking paragraph on why they should be mad at me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what I did. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I did it because a girl is finally a part of the bad bitch club. Per it. Me and I often see the um the meme or whatever and say how you a bad bitch and your nose ain't pierced. How? How? If you're gonna pick up it, go back in the bathroom and that can only mean one thing. Time for round two of my hair transformation. Okay, so this is the box and it's the Honey blonde dye. By the way, guys, in the case I'm wish family can get like a real gold nose ring, more like a really pretty one, one dangly one, or anything, something cute. Okay, so we're gonna take Jen with here, and we're not gonna really do every single thing we do in the last video because I obviously know the process already. So unlike some parts, mega show and just because I don't know, I probably want to see. Okay, so I like the same thing that come in the last package, but it just have like different packaging. See? When I see? No. Hello? Hello. Earth the camera. I'm not gonna tell I'm afraid because I don't know how my roots are gonna look blonde. And with this massive forehead of mine, Jaja. My baby hair is gonna look invisible. Oh my god, that I'm afraid. I'm so scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> because let's be real, let's be real, guys. But I know I say when I was a little kid, you was in a baby here, had to look up extra new stuff to for you. <laughs> changing faster than down here like I don't get it <sighs> see like hair is dark why is hair dark I don't know bro I'm so confused and I don't have enough left to put it back on here I want it <laughs> I can't believe this is happening to me right now I'm so mad that's why I'm not about to talk why does shit like this happen to me all the time? I should have bought two boxes, bro. But I didn't know. I didn't. This is literally. Oh, I forgot to say. I have on my head this. <laughs> this is half of my freaking head and one bottle of this name. No. Why is your head so big, Jenny? Why your head so big? Why? Why? I am not doing okay right now. <laughs> uh, May I cut this fuck? <laughs> watcha, watcha. No, -uh. nothing, nothing, nothing. This color is actually really pretty though. Pray for me, guys. Okay, this pray that it's turned out good and I don't have to. On YouTube, just keep over that. We we can see that, okay? This day I got really mad and I end up stop recording because. I couldn't believe it's in my ear really and truly in the other day. Like, I like, didn't know what the problem but then, like, I started to pre it. I mean, it's probably because I took too long to put on the shower cap because it's supposed to incubate the heat. I don't know if that's the right terminology. Hairdressers don't come attack me now. But, you know, you have to put on the shower cap for a reason. I mean, I think. I take too long to do it, so my ear end up like the dye just not activates. That's my theory. <laughs> but I get upset, like really get cries because my hair was well. My hair still is a bunch of different colors. 
like i even tried to put developer on my hair that same day and it didn't do shit so i mean i know i'm just there with a bunch of different colors in my hair good morning to my subscribers and only to my subscribers because they're probably the mother one reach this far in another video but if you reach this far in another video and you subscribe we are pre-yo we are pre-yo we are judge you we are discriminate against you because why why but anyways actually you know what if you reach this far in the video drop an ice cream emoji down below and if you don't know why ice cream is trending right now, then you obviously find a rock. Or you just don't even have Jamaica. Me I give you a hint. I'm giving y'all a hint on to why ice cream is trending right now. Let's just say donuts are the only thing police officers eat. <laughs> it's a witch laugh for me. Anyways, last time with hard media them here and i failed miserably i mean like the front don't look no way but in the middle in the middle we don't know what happened there but um uh, i guess you're not really noticeable so i'm just not gonna die here over especially since you actually have to wait like four to six weeks for your die back at here i mean i'm my air drop out so that's a one dead story anyways Today we're going to Fort Antonio again to collect some packages that we need for the completion of this video. So I ordered a crew neck from Amazon like a really long time ago. But just now, I yeah, clear it. Jesus Christ, my Anna hurt me from holding this camera. Also, um, guys, been not really sure about these settings. Tell me if you like it, some people don't like it. I'm gonna put on the saturation and kind of look really yellow, but like without the saturation, I'm gonna kind of look really white. Okay, guys, so I y'all can't even see me, so I'm on my way to Nutsford Express to deliver this package. Go to shop Jin and Jen, and y'all can get some of our different clothes. I'm gonna call it my package and people are staring at me so bye bye. <laughs> so we just come out of nuts for it and then tell me some package don't reach yet. It's not gonna be here until six. And right now it's basically three o'clock. So that's three hours. And we don't know if me got there that long or if my mother would willingly wait here for three hours. <sighs> This just means that I have to push back when this video is going to be up. So I'll go all week after next this go because of this fat. Shut out. Alright, so guys. Oh, we can't take off a mask. Uh, so guys. Me a walk in the town and this little baby boy run come and I got my foot. <laughs> I felt so bad. I feel so bad for Scotty. Like I literally I tried to dodge him. I feel bad. Like he's such a little cute little baby. But a corona time. It's corona time and he's now wearing a mask. <laughs> I feel like a bad human being. Okay guys, so like right now it's 6 12 and them say 6 o'clock I think or 6 30. The package I got reach. Mother thankfully waited. Actually she don't wait. She did have stuff to do will lead us to this moment. We also might come here work far yo I first me walk so much in my life. A joke. I first marked so much since Corona started. Yeah, so I'm tired. Fingers crossed that I get my fucking packages before I lose my mind. <laughs> so, I'm gonna show an old pair look. This is focus, please. Yeah, 
This is how pier looks. Yeah, that's how pier in Port Antonio looks. Nice, right? Good evening. Nuts for it's still open? Okay, thank you. Ain't not even look like the bus reach. Brother. Yo. I see. No bus. None. Guys, it's currently and the bus just reached. We're not even going to cancel that because it dog. <laughs> but the bus just reached, so let's see. No bug there. Jesus Christ! I kill this man. Want kill me? What? In the special light on my face. I got it guys Sorry for the very monotone happiness But I'm in a rush Finally we can go home Then we need to sanitize And device them See you guys at home are Probably the next time Which I don't know what is that Come on camera Good morning guys so, we finally reached the last day of this video, which is... <laughs> what is today? Oh, today is the 19th of March, and it's currently 12.56. And we just really need to hurry up, do my makeup, do my ear, we are going to do our mask, we are going to put on our outfits, and then go take some bomb ass pictures for this thumbnail and for my new Instagram cause the whole point of this video is to glow up and that's what we finna do okay guys so this is the yard code of the day you know YOTD if you don't know get to know sir or mom but anyways it's giving very much homeless or you see the paint past them, probably like artsy and you know me a paint and them ear kind of go with it. Me know. You know some of so my plan is to start draw more this year. But like art supplies are so expensive. Anyways, on to the bathroom. So first of all, we could put on this mask. Hello? See it here. Right that's all. There we go. This is from Bali Skin. I'm gonna put them Instagram right here or something. This shit's chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Cause, like, but they have like a lot of dark spots on my forehead, but them did like way worse. After me using it, I realized a real improvement in my skin. But the way me do things, I've washed my face before I put on my mask. Hold on, I'm gonna open the curtain or something. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I love you. We got to this day to earn a video slap. Okay, this is kind of too much information, but like, I shaved yesterday. I read this so. Yeah, bro, what could it just scratch me? And I don't want to scratch so much. <laughs> Is too much chatting now, do you mind? Oh, you chat so like literally. Me and edit and like, you know, you get chatting at me. <laughs> Chat, no dog. And like, it's so weird because sometimes me not talk, me not talk. Like, chatting with a run out a lot of times when me talk to people. And like, them breathe and all that tell me, I'm gonna feel bad. So, we do it. So I didn't feel like some sad arm, you know, and talk to them or something. But it's really just, I'm just thinking it's a run out. <laughs> Even when I'm in my first time, we have a good ass conversation and then we just shut up. Yeah. I also realized that I get sidetracked real easily. Like, I talk about something and then it just even start talking about one different thing. And it's just like, where is the connection, sis? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pat dry my face and then I'm going to apply the mask. 
I mean, I know it may do well the mask dry because what if it gone? And I'm sorry. Coming up, maybe you really want to finish watch Jenny and Georgia. But, you know, I'm going to my mouth and tell them my opinion on Jenny and Georgia. My opinion on the whole Jenny and Georgia series, true. I strongly, strongly dislike Jenny. Let's put it now and take her a serious. She had tried so hard to fit in and it's so sad that she even uh, become really whitewashed. When she straightened her hair, that hurt my feelings. I know what hurt my feelings even more is that Georgia was literally like, why did that? I love your natural hair. And she's like, um, I needed to change. What change, sis? You needed a change to look white? Was that it? And then my other problem is like the one freaking black girl that was trying to be Jenny's friend. Jenny basically shot her down and then in like one little episode she was nice to her and invited her to one party. And that girl is so nice to Jenny yet Jenny chooses to be friends with the girl where I throw her under the bus. And I'd be so rude and mean to her. Like the only person in that friend group that was actually nice to her is Max. I see even two really need to start with some character development from Jenny because this is, what I'm seeing is not cutting it. I feel so bad every time Jenny treats Georgia like shit because you can see how much Georgia put on the line for Jenny. The other thing that I hate with the show is that why the hell did Jenny give it up to the first guy she saw in this new town? Jenny was just like, mm, this about to go. Them, them just don't make me hate the main character too much. Just that, that man like. She said the girl them don't like her yet. She could tell them some big secret about her mother. This is from the time the Abby girl was like, oh, we didn't know that she was doing this and that, and that she encouraged her for do this and that. From when you see that brother, from when you see that, mother stop be that girl's friend. But then he's like. Clown. <laughs> yes, it's Georgia though. Me love Georgia. Me love her. We love her. <laughs> Georgia is a badass bitch. What what I think about Hunter? Which one I prefer? Hunter or Marcus? Because I don't like Hunter. Hunter is another colored person who wants to be white. Because it makes it Asian and white, right? For sure, all the school, right? Why did they think him tap dancing through the hallway was cool? Why? <laughs> Me would have embarrassed. <laughs> tap dancing. Really? Even Marcus was like, yo, Hunter has no personality. I was like, Marcus is a douchebag, but I prefer him more than Hunter. Overall, it is a good show. I just don't like Jenny. Anyways, enough of that. Anyways, I don't have my music down for this not morning time. We get the vibes right. Per time to wash off the mask. I think it wipe off fully. But we'll make a wash it again. And it makes it so many nice feel good because I haven't been doing that. And I don't want no kilo away from my morals. You guys are not done washing my hair. Alright guys, so I'm done wash my hair and everything now. So time to put in some product and curl this hoe up. We finally reached the part of the video where I'm gonna tell you now. What's been going on with me and why I did stop the YouTube and why I stopped posting my social media for a whole. Let me start off by saying the reason why we stopped posting myself is because I was very insecure. We reach a point where we just need you to feel pretty. You see, if you check my channel right now, two videos missing from the last post because I did a monkey up video and then I did a Among Us video and them video are gone. Hold on, may I see if I turn on the ring light? The light is going to go better. Is it better? Yeah. So, 
But they like them video they because my face look weird as fuck. To me, in my opinion, they look like me as so far. I mean, they like that. So I'm gonna the video then. Basically, I had really, really bad depression. Probably still have it, but like, I guess me a coat better now. And the whole corona thing just get yeah, add on to my depression. And I reached a point where I wasn't eating. I don't know why part of my pick up say it would affect my body and how I look. I end up losing a lot of weight. Not a lot. My name fat from morning, so <laughs> not a lot. My usual weight would be like 118 and I'm 5'5 five five or 5'6, five one of them. I know. I'm around that height. So being that weight was like probably the minimum for that height. So I'm skinny, but me not like underweight skinny. So I don't know how the whole corona thing I go on. Me not really left my house, right? When me the home, me I wear bare, big t-shirts like this. My father clothes every day me not that. Me not really pre my body because me not need to pre my body. Me not need to stand up and look for myself or anything like that. Come the home, me not care about my appearance. Me just then I better chill, you know. I was eating one meal a day, but at the time, I still didn't I realize that me I lose weight until my sister come down from America. And that means say we are going to actually go out and stuff because my sister there, we're not going to stay in our house trapped, you know? So, one day, when we are going to the beach, right, I didn't have to wear my own clothes. And I didn't have to wear bathing suits and them stuff there. And I have to look for myself. Because all right, that's when I realized, yo, my mug. <laughs> it's actually not funny, but that's when I realized that me did lose some serious weight to the point where my clothes I drop off of me. I'm the panty, <laughs> and you know, probably like, wait a minute, all your panty. You wouldn't realize your panty I drop off of you because you wear that every day. Yeah, but I realized, but you know, everybody has their special set of pants where they wear goats and things, you know? That's a drop out for me, and I'm like, what the hell? I'm going. I'm mean, looking at the mirror, and like, me still, me know I say me smaller, but me name know I say it's like a drastic smaller. Until I went on the scale and saw that I weighed 100 pounds. I was just like, 100 pounds is very underweight for my height. I just I put this out there that I'm not saying anything wrong with being skinny. But I think personally, it's a problem when you're unhealthy. Because me not eat enough food to give my body energy. And that they contribute to me wanting just to lay down and not move because I'm too tired. I'm too weak. Ever since I realized that I'm very small now, I try to start eating like regular people, which is three meals a day or at least two you know but i just was not hungry we just need hungry we couldn't do it i reached the point where like i forced myself to eat and it made me want to vomit i start feeling like i don't deserve food i'm just i just reached the point where i just feel like what the point and that's when i realized that i'm having a whole eating disorder enough people enough enough people don't take eating disorders seriously to me honestly eating disorders are very very serious because once you start eat one meal a day or you can't brother me not even know why me a cap right now go me a eat one meal a day because more me not even finish the meal day. it's like me eat one spoon i'm a full it's self-starvation right and that is not okay because humans need food when they need food for energy or they need it for live right so it can actually lead to death and them stuff there you yeah, see if mrs son ever forward we probably wouldn't even realize so as so bad it gets i'm more don't want to make a change you know since me reach that way i started to feel like really insecure really need one seen a picture of myself me need one want seen a video of myself I just didn't want anybody to see me like that. I mean, in it, nobody come body shame me because I have been body shamed already multiple times, almost every day of my life, cause me skinny. 
and even to one point where me did post one picture in a January and then time then me actually made that smile and someone comment under my picture and was like your mother not feed you and if my mouth nourish on me this time and I was just like Jenna I, I wasn't even that small and I may even tell my friend Tian in our dear and he was like but your nail look them type of weird day, them time there because Tian actually come and tell me sir Jenny <laughs> yo yeah get really small like in the one who walk one with me make me look really small and like when he tell me that it just fight over my head me didn't think I'm a big deal you know all right make sure that everybody have one time in their life where them feel so sad that them can't eat make sure that happened to almost every single human being if it that never happened to you yet then yeah obviously god favorite but I think that most likely happened to almost everybody on this planet. So, you see that feeling? If you ever have it before, that's how I feel every single time I try to eat. So, that just, you know? Then, I was like, you know what? Come start exercise. Because I remembered when I was going to teach field, me did start going to the gym with my friend, and that's when we start getting some weight. So, I start exercise. And start gaining weight because actually exercising make you want to eat, you know. I start get back to my normal size and everything good. Now me are probably like 135, 130, somewhere right there. So, Jen, yes. come here. Put this with water. Boy, then feel brief. Jade, shut the fart. Where you can afford to buy back the camera. Must have to go sell the battery. Anyways, <laughs> so this whole video is about me trying to finally feel pretty because I I wasn't feeling pretty. It did depress me even more. And. You see, one of the other reasons that caused me to be depressed and reach the state I was, was YouTube. This is why, this is one of the reasons why we decided to change up my content. And it's because, not I wanna really don't know me. Just because when you see me with one iPhone, or just some simple things when you see me with and take my of money. It's when we just start YouTube, I had an iPhone XS. And... The way I got my iPhone XS was by selling Oreo every single day at school. Me and my friend them own my supermarket. And that's how I got my phone. And me did have a lot of followers on Instagram at the time with my old account. And me post every single day, DM me for promo. <laughs> me know enough of other member, member the account there and member me doing that every single day. Before the iPhone XS, I had an SE, an iPhone SE, and that shit not even did unlock. So only way I'm gonna use it are over Wi-Fi. Can't call my parents them if somebody kidnap me. Me can't do nothing with that phone. So me did have to get one new one. I'm also sell that phone and it contribute to me buying the iPhone XS. Everything I have. I mean, literally work for it. Like, no, if I want to go, I'll have family members with selling my stuff and selling on a bag of barrel and them thing. Then my family members don't do that for me. I me not have nobody at all. When me think would I buy more more food? No one. If me I get something, I probably close. And that the probably come from my granny. Or my mother if she had got fired. That's how shit is for me. I don't have a lot of money. And that did lead to me being depressed. Me don't know who the hell come up with the whole saying about money can't buy happiness. Me don't know who do that. 
obviously that's some ungrateful rich person <laughs> okay so my hair kind of done it just need to dry and now we're going to done this shit call my lips this is fucking low i'm hoping you can't hear the music out there because it's a piss me off right now anyways so let's start our makeup first of all we need to wait let me start like this is a tutorial now let me explain the reason why i posted that i was gonna quit youtube it was much more than just me being insecure that made me come off of social media i really needed time to work on myself and you know feel better and youtube has been like a very draining place so i'm gonna probably be like oh my god you really get depressed over youtube and if you think like that me i will call you out right now and say brother you're small minded as fuck if you think say youtube can't contribute to depression you know it's people live off of youtube man i don't know how much people i can literally name so much that men no one say youtube are the only income and a youtuber pay them bills i buy food in them house you know every creator every content creator it don't, it, it don't have to just be youtube i go feel some type of way if they might push out content and it doesn't do good and for me youtube was affecting me in so many different ways and the first one is that it did affect me in a one way where me did it, i try and i feel like me try not good enough like i try to push out videos but we can never be consistent with it no matter how much me try to be consistent it just doesn't happen and you see with youtube youtube push creators where i make people stay upon them up so if you have people are watch your video them youtube are gonna push your channel so that aspect I affect my channel because i'm not pushing out enough videos for in a youtube good suit and the reason why i'm not pushing up videos is because the phone me telling them i have was 64 gigs i'm telling them something 64 gigs is not a lot not a lot a lot one youtube video full up the whole of that and then when we go edit you have to save back the video in your phone and enough time me do video and can't save the video because i not have enough storage to save the video i have to delete the video and waste my time get ready waste my time to do this and that for the video and it can't save and it can't upload you see the young head video me do i video that shit like seven times Part of it was because I kind of have anxiety And the other part was because it is too long for me to see from my phone So, I have to delete the bag of clips to see of the video The bag of clips from the video and I'm not talking about old clips or nothing like that now In order to see of that damn video We did literally have to left out enough parts of that video then Doing a video seven times over and over saying the same shit over and over gets free and tiring trust me this is like the first shot i always go be the best shot everything genuine because eventually you're not gonna have the same energy you're not gonna talk it the same you're probably left out some stuff where you didn't see the first part so doing that shit exhausting it broke vibes especially when we spent over days editing and then just week them say I don't have enough story to see of the video So that yeah, contribute to me not being consistent on YouTube Because it reached one point where once I did the video And it now see if I just not going to try again Because I just can't bother The only reason why I did that yam head video the over and over seven times I'm sure if I'm the first two times I'm going to try to give up The only reason why I do it is because I don't only content I could have think about doing at the time them type of something they just make youtube just not fun anymore youtube start feel like one job to me i mean they like that none at all i genuinely like doing youtube i think it's fun i mean like when marie the comments them i uh, oh no i dead with laugh or when they say something funnier than when me evil could i possibly think about you know that nice to me 
but I have people understand me and get me. But then it just turned into, oh my god, me have to drop on video or me now I'll get no money this month. And then like Corona just there, I contribute to it even more because me I go to university right now, right? The original plan was that I would try to get a job and do YouTube, so I'm gonna have two sources of income, right? But that couldn't happen because I know I can't step foot on you with campus. And it don't make sense me I take bus go all the way for the job there if me can try my best and get that same amount of money on YouTube. But it's hard to come up with content where I get views and get money. YouTube actually is very simple. If your video not do good, you're not getting no money. If my video not do good, me gonna be sad. Because that's literally my only source of income. YouTube I'm a food. I use my YouTube money and buy groceries. Me use it. Do everything what me need for myself. I don't recall the last time I actually spend money just because it's fun to spend money. I don't know. See something I want it never happened to me yet. I'm always up here in this back into my craft and it just draining. The least I can get paid on YouTube is a hundred dollars. And when I tell you, say, Angela can't do nothing. Angela can't do nothing. Step one foot in a supermarket and that, done. Done, done, done. Food expensive, you know? Guys, adulthood is not it. It's not it at all. To make one have a better understanding, you see 10k views? Not barely can get to like $50, US dollar. And. Well, Mr. Barely really mean barely. You see, if your video is like really long and you get 10k views, you probably can't get a good amount of money. But I can't make my videos long because I don't have enough space. So my little 10 minute video them, not get me shit. So when your, your favorite content creator say watch the ads, or if you see ads come from their video, at least try watch one or two. Cause you never really know what they want to go through. And then like, I started to feel like my content was just trash. That's what I started to feel like when my videos don't do good. That's when I started to feel like shit. That my videos just not nice. So like for the past few months, months, I have been like watching a lot of YouTube, seeing different stuff for people like. And I came to the realization that in Jamaica, and everything, I go strive because Jamaicans don't like certain stuff. Most people like is couples, then they do good. Cause we don't love the prank them, and then like we not even know if vlogs like this are the type of content when we want to start do. I go even do good here because. And I learned something that Jamaicans like. Jamaicans like madness. So from, from what we see. Because let's not forget, we do make Get a Michael famous. We do make Candy famous, Mackerel famous, etc. And uh, every time I can do a mad ass, crazy ass video, you know? Uh, any content when we can do with mad, we need it somebody else. We can't just do it by myself, you know? And we can't do that. Because what? Corona. And I don't live in a family where if they catch corona, they might go good. Most people in my family, if they catch corona, that's a high possibility of them dying. So I can't dare arrest them life for just get a nice video. That shit just. Are you ever make you down? Especially when you can't see your best friend or you can't see nobody You can't really hang out with nobody like one time like her and I really out here Going in with be a madness and Everybody just up here. I just Because what else is there to do? Then I just So the content when we want to start pushing now is vlogs I'm in an episode already because I feel like I'm hot, but my just not there, I guess.
but I want to start pushing blah, 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 blah. I want to start pushing vlogs because I feel like vlogs make you really understand one person and understand their personality and get to really know somebody and I don't know if they make it look good in the country that I live in but hopefully they will I also want to add that I really appreciate all of you guys because a uh, lot of wanna check up for me and a lot of you guys are like oh my god Jenny how's your mental health are you doing okay when I go drop a video I'm glad that I'm still there and still I wait for me to push content because that just shows that I'm real supporters and I love that and I appreciate it a lot because if many of YouTube I probably really would have pop right one different type of way <laughs> yeah I am also want to make you guys know that I am doing better I am eating now and if you don't want to know how I do it, let me tell you. Supergen. Supergen sponsor me now? Please. I buy like so much Supergen, brother. Because let me tell you. It's a Supergen. It literally named liquid meal. So if you can't eat, like me, drink. I mean, a lot of people will tell you. I'm sure enough I want to hear it before if you ever try to gain weight. You must hear that drinking insure and them something good for you for help gain weight. But insure expensive na ras and so we like two thirty or something like that. And insure like four hundred. Yes. And so we have more calories than than insure. So you know, get those gains, sis, cause calories are really will make you gain weight. And I also my exercise like me tell my music I mean workout women. I mean use my fitness pal. Everybody can see it there. And my fitness pal where it really do it it help track your calories and it help you know how much calories you eat so you can gain. For me to gain weight I ha had to obsess over it. Let me show you now. This is my phone. Hello? Hello? You know, see, show me, I show them something. You see that? You have breakfast, lunch, dinner, late night snack, and the my reminders. Every single time, one certain time come, like probably 10 o'clock come, it reminds me that I need to eat breakfast. Because, I don't know, sometimes I just forget that I need to eat. Guys, I'm so sorry if this explanation all over the place, me just. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain myself any better. It's like one thought comes in my mind and I'm just like, I need to address it, you know? And at the end of the day, I feel like mental health is just really important. And I feel like y'all need to stop bullying people. Because I don't know how to affect them. Like, most of my insecurities, them, when I have, me never even know somebody of them as somebody pointed out to me and me realize you understand what i mean like for example when i was in like the fourth or fifth form Ross, wrong thing sir when i was in like the fourth or fifth grade i i remember i had picture day i may have shown another picture because i think i still have that picture I had picture there and I had uh, my mom bought me this really really pretty ass top right it was brown and like suck on and tight my mother buy it and I went to school in that top so confident feeling so pretty ready for my picture day and uh, everything you know then when I reached the class this girl was like Janae, you don't have any boobs. Something like that, she said. I mean, I remember because, like, at that at the time, at the American coming there, so she probably said something else. I don't, I don't know. But she, I mean, no one said she said something about me being fat chested. I didn't even know that it was, like, a big deal if me fat chested. I was, like, 10. <laughs> or something like that. I did very young. 
10, 11. I don't know. Whichever age I've been at them grade. I know some most people start puberty like 13. And this girl, I can body shame. Me? A kid? That's when I got really insecure about not having any boobs. And what made it up though is that I buy myself one brassier. <laughs> I don't have no titty at all, you know. But I put on the brassier and wear that like some boobs. And then as my girl older, me I say yo, oh, me need more boobs because having a bra on, right? Not gonna do a lot. It just I got one little look like a little wasp bite, and I go have a huge impact, right? I was like stuff in go work, and every time you can stuff it. Right, I mean, you want one, one boob, you know, one or nothing like that. So, what I did was wear another brassiere. <laughs> so, the first brassiere actually, I all up something, which is the second brassiere. <laughs> Yo, when we look up, we did very innovative. <laughs> and, like, we did so insecure to the point where my all I look up way to make me titty them bigger. Like, my sister have this thing named breast robe, breast enhancement robe. We can't get to them bigger. But I was a child, so I couldn't afford that none at all. When I start high school, though, I stopped care about certain things. By the time I reached third form, I wasn't even wearing any bra. <laughs> Up to now, I don't wear bras anymore. I don't know. I don't have a clue where none of my bras are. I'm dead. I would have gone. I don't own a bra as far as I know right now. I stopped wearing bras because I'm missing the point. I don't have any boobs. So, what a point. And I'm totally okay with my boobs now. And it's so crazy to think back to when Millie look, I was so insecure about it. Millie even want plastic surgery. My point is, we really never know and say something wrong with me not having boobs. And a girl pointed out to me. If she never said nothing to me, but I probably still not have a problem with having any boobs, you know? But anyways, may I go finish my makeup and put on my clothes and get outside because right now it's almost 3.30 3 and nobody ain't about to miss this sun. I ain't about to miss that sun. Not me. Not Janine. Okay guys, so this is the fit. Okay, come closer for details. <laughs> so this shirt, this sweatshirt is from Gildan on Amazon. And then this skirt is from Shein. I think I paid like $5 and the shirt was like 12. And then I got the jewelry from Shein also and this was like $5 too. And this is just a regular school uniform shirt. I put under it. So you know, you can do this outfit but cheap and clean. <laughs> And I want some white sneakers and school socks. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>